Hi, it's Victor here and today I'm going to show you how I made this text animation. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to animate text going beyond the standard text animation features. I will start by adding a text and I will type in text. Let's change the font. For this example, I like to use the Mod Heavy font. You can find this font on dafont.com and import it in your Create Studio. It is a high-impact font for stomp, teaser videos. And let's make it bigger like that. Now, I will duplicate the main text and I will do four more copies. And I will retype only one letter for each text box that will compose the initial word. For a better precision and canvas guidance, I will select the first text and I will make it red, reducing the opacity a little bit and use it as a guidance for the other letter's position. Let's take the letter T. On Mac, I am using Shift and left arrow to move the letter to adjust its position and have it in place, guided by the red text. For a fine adjustment, I zoom in and I use Option and left arrow to place the letter exactly where I want it to be. I repeat these adjustments and do the same for each letter, adjusting their position using the red text as a guide. The red text is helping me to have space guidance on canvas and is making my work much easier when I break the text in separate letters for an individual letter animation. The text animation that I aim to achieve, it can't be done when using a whole text box by choosing one of the preset animations, and you will easily understand why, as soon as I start to create animations for each letter. Now, I will lock all the elements in the timeline, and I will keep unlocked only the one that I want to work on. To get the effect I want for the first letter, I need to change the rotation point and set it in the lower left corner. Let's add a custom animation. For the first letter, the letter T, I will choose Rotation, and for easing I will choose Expo. With these settings in place, and having the playhead before the animation, I rotate the letter to the left until I have it on a side. You will see that when I place the playhead after the added animation, the letter will reposition to its initial position. Next, I will lock back this element and I will unlock the next one that I need to work on. For this one, I will leave the rotation point to its original position and I will choose two animation settings, position and rotation. Again, with the play of position before the animation, I move the letter E upwards. Once I have it where I want, I will set the rotation by simply typing minus 90 in the X rotation box. Let's see how it looks. We must not forget about the easing and set expo. For letter X, I will use the same settings as for previous letter with only one little difference. I will set the rotation at 90 degrees. Remember, for the letter E, I had it set for negative 90 degrees. Let's take a look. And now, I move to the last letter and I will make the same adjustments as for the first letter, with only one difference. I will set the rotation point in the lower right corner and rotate the letter to the right. Now. I will change the letter spacing for the red text just to have a guide for final position of the animation. I'll set it at 300. Or even better at 400. Next, I will duplicate the red text and drag it to the right. Let's make it black and increase the opacity at 100. I will make these elements shorter like this. I will add an animation. For the next animation, I go with letter spacing. And for easing, I will choose slow motion. Letter spacing at the starting point needs to be as the initial text, so I'll set that to 10. Letter spacing value on the other side will have to be set at 400. And let's take a look. It looks just great and I'm happy with this. Now, I can hide the red text or I can delete it. And let's see the animation once again. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Have fun creating.